Today we're creating this bouquet of crepe paper flowers for Mother's Day. Starting with the rose, you'll need to cut two pieces of wire that are long enough for the flower stem. And I used 24 gauge wire, but I would recommend something more like 18. And I put glue on the end of the two wires and I started wrapping floral tape down the wire. Every once in a while I put a dot of glue to keep it in place. And I put some glue at the end and wrapped around a couple times there. And I left two short pieces of wire at the top, which you'll need to bend to create a Y shape like that. Next, I cut a piece of pink crepe paper that is about four inches wide by two and a half inches tall, and I cut the corners off and rounded them. And make sure you're using the paper so the lines in the paper are vertical and not horizontal. Next, you're just gonna take this petal that you've created and start pulling the middle part so you're stretching it out and it starts to form this curved shape. Then at the top, stretch out the edge so it gives it this ruffled texture and start rolling it up very tightly at first. And then stop and put a dot of glue. And I definitely recommend looking at a picture of a real rose while you do this and just try to mimic what you see. And just keep rolling it up and putting glue to hold it in place. And at this point, I'm doing it much looser than I started. And then glue the end. So it looks like this. And you can stretch out the pieces or make any adjustments you need to. Then I'm cutting another piece of crepe paper, the same size as before, and rounding off those corners, stretching it out just like before, stretching out the edge. And then I'm just gonna glue it onto this. making sure it's not super tight against it. Just trying to closely follow the picture of the rose. And just make sure you put glue every once in a while to keep it in the right shape. making some adjustments. You can always trim off some if you don't like how it looks. Next I'm cutting another piece but it's about half as big as the last two and rounding off the corners and stretching it out like before, stretching out the edge and just finding a good place for it on the rows and gluing it in place. Cutting another piece, same size, rounding the corner, stretching it out, and finding a place for it on the rows. Cutting another piece, same size, and just repeating the process over and over. At this point, it starts to become a lot easier. Just keep placing the petals looser and looser and just look for the spot that you think needs a petal. And stretching them out and making adjustments if you need to. Cut 
another piece the same size and repeated the same process. And I trimmed some off of that one because I thought it was a little too tall. Next I'm cutting a piece that's a little bit wider than before. Stretching it out. Now we've gotten to the outermost petals and these will be quite a bit larger because they need to cover the whole rows. So I cut a pretty big piece there and stretch it out just like before. And find a place for it on the rows. And kind of scrunch it at the bottom and glue it in place. And then I cut another one, another large piece, rounded the corners, stretch it out and glued it in place. These larger pieces will cover the ends of the other ones on the rows at the bottom, so make sure they are tall. And then repeating this one more time. Then I could tell it needed one more petal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut one more. same process and gluing it in place making sure they're completely glued at the bottom and now I'm just adjusting petals and then if there's any sharp corners that are showing go ahead and cut those so they're rounded off and that's it for the rows. Now we're going to add the stem. So you're going to pinch that Y shape onto the bottom of the rows. You may need to trim it shorter like I did. And then put glue on the bottom of the rows and put it in place there. Then we're going to take some green crepe paper and cut some triangles into the top. Stretch it out a little bit. And then we're just going to place it around the bottom of the rows and make sure it covers the wire. Then I'm taking the floral tape, putting some glue on the bottom of that and just wrapping it around on down the stem so it kind of hides the end of that paper and gluing it in place and that's it for the rows next we're making these bluebell inspired flowers so I'm just starting with one piece of wire this time and wrapping it with the floral tape gluing the end and putting some glue every once in a while to keep it in place Next I'm cutting a purple piece of crepe paper into about a 2 inch by 2 inch square and I'm stretching out the middle area and put glue on one end and glue it together so it forms a tube like this. Then put a pen or pencil inside of the flower and start crinkling up that bottom edge so it's gathered together. And then glue it so it stays in place, gathered up like that. Then we're going to cut six petals out of this top part. So the first slit was already there from when we formed the two, but cut one across and then cut three out of each side. Gently grab each petal with the scissors without cutting it and twirl it downwards so this kind of gives it a curl. Then take the scissors and cut the corners off of each petal so it forms a petal shape. Then 
Once you're happy with how it looks, put some glue on the bottom of it and glue it to the top of the stem we created. Next, take a small rectangle of green crepe paper, cut it in half, cut a triangle out of one side, then cut the edges off of the other side so it forms a shape like this. Then put some glue on the bottom of the flower and put it in place, like that. Repeat this again, glue it on the other side, so it should look like this. And then you're just going to repeat this process on down the stem. So glue the next one about an inch down or a little less than that. And then just repeat this process until you've covered as much as the stem as you want, like this. And that's it for that flower. Next we're making this branch of leaves. So start by wrapping a single piece of wire with floral tape. Just like before. And once you've done that, just start cutting leaf shapes out of green crepe paper. And then stretch out the edges so it gets more of a leaf shape. And bend it in half. And then glue it to the top. Then I'm taking a slightly different color of paper and cutting another leaf. Stretching out the edges. Bending it in half. And I'm just going to glue it about an inch down from the first leaf. Then I'm cutting another with a darker color again. Stretching it out. Folding it in half. And gluing it just right on the same level as the other leaf. And you can always trim them if you'd like. And just repeat this process down the branch so it looks like this. And that's it for the leaf branch. For the finished bouquet, I ended up using two of the branches, three of the bluebell flowers, and three roses. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.